In part 4 of the Setting Column Values tutorial, I will show you how metadata stored in the workbook, such as variables saved when importing data using the import wizard, can be referenced and used for computing column values. We continue with the same sample project, and this time viewing the contents of the worksheet metadata folder. I'm going to highlight column A and right-click to insert a column to the left. I then want to fill this column with values, so I highlight it, right-click, and choose Set Column Values. This time I want to insert an info variable. I'm going to change the variable type to int, and then scroll down and choose number of points, and click insert to insert that variable into the set column values dialog before formula scripts panel. I'm going to leave this dialog open because I want to insert another variable type. This time it's going to be of type double, and I want to select both the start and step frequency. So I can hold down the shift key to select both and insert. I'm now ready to close the dialog and I see that I have my three variables that I can then use in my formula above. This is our start value, our step value, and our end value. When I click OK, the dialog will close and the data will be generated. I now want to assign this column as an X column, this column to a Y column, and I can assign the long name as frequency. This concludes this part of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.